Hi, this is Kyle Fear of the San Antonio Football Officials Chapter. This video is an instruction on how to set up your Arbiter Sports account. Arbiter Sports is used by the chapter to assign and track games. Once you become a member of the San Antonio Football Officials Chapter, our assigning secretary will set up an account for you in Arbiter. When he does that, you will receive an email from Arbiter welcoming you. Go ahead and click that email and follow the directions and how to sign up. Once you get to the login page, you'll want to click login at the top right. You'll use your original email and they'll send you a password for your initial login. So go ahead and enter your email and then you can copy and paste that new password. Once you've logged in the first time, there's a couple things you may want to do to begin with. First is to reset that password. Once you've set up a new password, you can go into the information tab and make sure that all the information put in here is correct. Make sure that your name, your email address, your address, and any other information is correct. Once you've done that, make sure to update your phone contact. A cell phone number or home phone number will be important. Once you're assigned games, the other officials that are assigned along with you will be able to see that number and be able to communicate with you. Save buttons over here on the left. The next thing to do will be to update your preferences. So go ahead and click this button at the top. And the first thing you'll see is your notification settings listed along the top of the screen. The game reminder reminds you the day before you have an assigned game. Anytime you have a new game assigned, you can receive an email. Anytime the game has changed, time, date, you'll receive an email. Anytime you are unassigned, or anytime you have an event, a new event, or an event rem reminder. If you have an iPhone, you can also get an email for a calendar sync down here. Just send that email and you can set it up through your iPhone. Finally, you can set up your time zone. Hit save here at the bottom. And now all your information and preferences have been updated. The next thing to do is to set your availability. Up at the top, this blocks tab will take you to your personal calendar. This is where you can block times or whole days for which you are unavailable. This will be really important for our assigning secretary as it will save them a lot of time and effort if they can see who is available for certain days. Once they've assigned you a game, if you have to cancel because you are unavailable, it takes them extra time and effort to go find somebody else that is available for that day. Where if you had set up your block correctly, you would already be showing is unavailable for the day. Blocking part or all of a day is fairly easy in Arbiter. If you want to block a whole day, up here at the top left, you click block all day, and then you can block any day individually. So if Friday, July 3rd, you are unavailable, you click that day, and it shows up in red, which shows that you are blocked that full day. The assigning secretary will now be able to see that you are un unavailable that whole day. If you want to block part of a day, up here on the top left, you just click block part day. Choose your time range. So if you're unavailable from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. on 
July 16th, you could click that, and now you can see that it's blocked part of that day. If you want to clear any blocks, come back up here to the top left, click the clear blocks, and click the day that you want to clear. Clear them both here. Now let's say you want to block off any time before 6 o'clock on a weekday. Say you work until 5.30 and you can't possibly make it to any game sites before 6 o'clock. To be able to do that, we'll go back up here to the top left, choose block part day, and now we can actually choose certain dates. So if you want to start only in July, from July 1st to July 31st, you can choose those dates. Choose the time range 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. And then over here at the right, we can choose Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all weekdays. Hit apply. And that blocks part of the day for that entire date range. On the same hand, you can clear entire blocks by going up here to the left, make sure your date ranges match, and then hit apply. Now, let's say, for instance, you know that during the season, you won't be able to work Wednesday nights. You can choose to block a, the full Wednesday day throughout the season by making sure just Wednesday is clicked. Choose the correct date range. Let's say all the way through all, from August 5th until November 25th. We're going to block all day and apply and all Wednesdays are now blocked. Now anytime you have an assigned game it'll show up here on this calendar in blue. Anytime you have a pending game so mean you've been assigned but you haven't accepted it yet it'll show a lighter blue. Once you've been assigned games You'll be able to see those up here at the top left. If you click schedule, your calendar schedule will be available. You can see all future games. You can see games just for the next week, for the month that you're in. You can see your past games, your last 30 days worth of games, or you can see them all. The master schedule it's the schedule for all games in our Arbiter system for the chapter. This is where you can look for games on certain dates. So let's say that we knew that we were available on September 10th, and we we're looking for a game on September 10th. Choose September 10th. I'm going to keep it at all sports and levels, all sites, all home teams. You can sort by any of these but I'm just choosing the date. So I'll click the date and then you hit go. And that will bring up all games for that day. You have the date and the time of those games. You have the site, the level. So this, for instance, would be a seventh grade game, while the next one is a JV game. Third one, freshman game. And then we can see the two schools that are participating in the contest. It'll be important for you to set up an Arbiter Pay account. To do so, you'll want to register for an Arbiter Pay account. You'll choose that you're a sports official. Then you'll want to follow all seven steps to get signed up. Now, you'll need to put in your social security number as this will be important for tax purposes. Arbiter Pay will also have an option for direct deposit. So you'll wanna have a 
bank accounts, account number, and routing number handy and ready to go when they ask for them. Once you have your Arbiter Pay set up, it will link directly to your Arbiter account. Schools will pay you for the games through Arbiter Pay. Arbiter Pay collects that money and then puts it into your Arbiter Pay account. Once it's in your Arbiter Pay account, you can choose to disperse those funds to yourself in a variety of different ways in different times. You can choose to have it dispersed once a week, once a month. You can choose to have it dispersed once there's a certain dollar amount in the account. There's a variety of different ways that Arbiter Pay will disperse the money to you. Once you've set up your Arbiter Pay account, this dashboard will show you how much is in your Arbiter account. On this page, you'll be able to to initiate the transfer of funds, edit any account information, or delete bank accounts from Arbiter. Lastly, many of the announcements go out through Arbiter. That's one of the reasons it's important to make sure you have the correct email in your profile. You can see past announcements on the main screen, or as you can see, once announcements are made, you'll be sent an email with them, and you'll be able to view those announcements. I hope this video helped you, and we're looking forward to working on the field with you.